How far did you get with your education? Uh, I graduated high school. Okay. I went to college. I went to college for a semester. It won't for me. Are you considered a college dropout? Yeah, I get, yeah. You can say that. Yeah, you can say that. Yeah. And what was your reason? Um what wasn't what was what was it about college that it wasn't for you? I mean, school, I mean, school really wasn't for me in general. The whole uh, thing about school, I really just did school for my you feel me? For myself and my family, you know, like a little accomplishment type shit. But like, school really not fun me. Like, I just don't like it. It's just not interesting. Now, for time reference, it's October 2021 now. But what schools did you attend growing up? Elementary, middle, high school. Give me the whole resume there. Yeah. All right. So, um, elementary school, I went to. Elementary school, I went to Legacy. And then middle school, I went to uh, Jane Adams. High school, I went to Bowling Brook. That shit was weak. And then um, college, I went to the Page for like a year. And then, like, fuck, I remember, I can't even get the other one, the little one, preschool. But yeah, I went that too, though. I forgot what it was called. These schools that you mentioned, public or private? Are they all public? Now, what kind of kid were you in class, generally speaking, here? Um, in class, I was, I was always, you feel me? I wouldn't even say I was a class clown. I was just naturally funny. Like, I wasn't trying to walk around just cracking jokes all day. But, yeah, I was... Yeah, I had the class turn, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I just had that type of energy, you know? Where did these jokes stem from for you? Um, shit, being from Chicago, you gotta you gotta know how to, like, fry. You, you gotta know how to get on somebody's ass when they tweaking or something like that, you feel me? Fry them, so. I mean, I feel like the jokes are generated just for being in Chicago, like, defending yourself with jokes, too. Shit. Now, when it came to jokes, was it just purely jokes for you, or did it ever lead to you becoming a bully? Uh, I won't even say I was a bully, though. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I took, from some jokes you feel me, certain people probably took a little bit more serious than me, but I was always joking. But, you know, some people be playing, but I be joking with people, though. Now, were you part of a certain crowd in school? Uh, I don't, e I don't even say crowd, you feel me, because I ain't no follower. But, you know, like, I was popular type shit. Like, people knew who I was. Pe people know me, like, to this day. So, I mean, yeah, I don't even say crowd. I mean, I say I was the crowd because I ain't following nobody. Were you popular for anything specific? Uh... Was it something that got you to become popular? No, um, I feel like, you know, I was just that nigga. <laughs> like, it ain't really, like, t too much, you feel me, too much about it. Like, I play, I play sports, but I feel like, you feel me, sports didn't really give me popularity. I feel like it was just my character, the way I carried myself. What about the jokes? Did that lead to you becoming popular of some sort? Or? I mean, that probably, like... Nah, people, niggas just knew not to, you feel me, not to fuck me on the front side, so, like, that was just that, though. Now, did anyone attend the schools that you mentioned end up becoming well-known or famous themselves? No. I think I'll be the first. Yeah, I don't, I don't know nobody. Everybody, yeah. Now, we'll talk about sports here in a little bit, but let's talk about music first. When it came to music, did you ever take a music class in school of any sort? Uh, it was always, you know, like music, you feel me, like the subject music, but like I ain't never like wanted to do it, like you feel what I'm saying? It was never an urge. 
But like I always liked the music, like it grew on me, like you feel me? The more I grew up, the more, you feel me? I fell in love with music, but I ain't never take no like outside look curriculum classes and shit like that. Never did the band, never did chorus. Nah. I was never a band dude. But like, yeah, I was never yeah, I ain't never do that shit. Why not for you? Um why weren't you a band dude? Some people are. Yeah, it, some people are, but them some big ass instruments. So you feel me? Sometimes I, I just couldn't see myself carrying it. You know, I'm short too, so you know they get a short niggas all the big shit for some reason. So, no, nah, bro, I couldn't do it though. But I fuck with the band though. They make some good ass music. You being a recording artist at this point, is there any regret on not doing the band, not doing chorus? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Like you feel me? I wish I woulda. I mean, I ain't, it's never too late, but like paid attention more to it and stuff like that, like reading music and things like that, expanding on my um, on my ways as an artist and things like that. So yeah, I wish I paid attention to it more, which I'm gonna do, cause you know, you gotta expand as an artist. Were you ever the type to freestyle or battle other classmates? Oh yeah, I, that's how I started rapping. Like I've been freestyling since I was like 13, so. You feel me? So I always been battling with people like that. So yeah. When it came to battling other classmates, would you win more, lose oh, yeah, more, I, I break always, even? I always won. I was fucking them. I was fucking them up. I always won. Nobody really fucking with me on that shit. Any advice when it comes to battle rapping another person? Uh. Generally speaking. Shit. I ain't a battle rapper, like, for real, for real. I don't battle rap for real, but I know how to do that shit. But, shit, I just say just, you know, you just got to be confident with your delivery, your flow, your punchlines. All that shit got to be real. Was any of this stuff caught on video? You freestyling or battling other classmates? Yeah, Is there footage I actually of this? think. If, I, yeah, but I don't got them, hoes. Somebody else probably got them, but, yeah, I, I remember seeing some videos. Did you have a song you were promoting back then when you were in school? I wasn't even rapping like that when I was in school. It like probably like after I graduated, like when I was like eighteen or something like that's when I started rapping for real, for real. I wasn't really doing that. When you started rapping at eighteen, were you still in high school technically or out of high school at that point? Well, we was going through COVID. So I ain't go back to school my whole like the end of senior year. So like then I just low key start tripping, going to a whole nother side of me so that shit was okay but technically were you still considered a high school student oh yeah yeah technically yeah i was still yeah i was still in even high though school. you weren't physically yeah. going to class yeah i just wasn't going to class but yeah i was still you hadn't graduated yeah yet. i haven't graduated yet. yeah okay um did you participate in talent shows at all when you were growing up no See, that was, see, nah, I wasn't like no, you feel me, no phenomena, you feel me, like, like some, something like that, like, started from, like, the bottom, but, like, you know, I used to listen to music a lot like that, but I wasn't really in no talent show like that, you know what I'm saying? I don't really even know, man. I probably was, bro. I don't even know who to blame not putting me in the talent show. Now, speaking of sports, which you kind of, uh, uh, mentioned earlier in this conversation, what sports did you end up playing? Uh, I was playing uh, football. I played, I played football. You know, basketball was a hobby. You feel me? We was hooping on them cranks in the alley. You know, uh, I was low key talented at everything. You know, I could play baseball. I can't play like official baseball, but like I can. You feel me? Hit some, the bat or some, some shit like that. When it came to football, how far did you go with it? How far did you take it? Um, at the high school, I stopped. Yeah, at the high school, I stopped because I was turning, I was turning into something else anyway. So doing high school and shit like that, so I was lucky drifting away from it. And you did play football in high school. Was it? Uh, high school football that you played or you played in a different organization? Uh, it was uh, high school football. Yeah. Varsity? Yeah, varsity, yeah. And uh, what grades did you play varsity for? I played it for my junior and my senior year. Now, hypothetically speaking, 
if you took football past high school, uh, how far do you think you could have gotten with it if you didn't drift off, as you described? Um, I probably could have got far with it, you know, if I would have had a better work ethic and stuff like that. Uh, I could have got far towards it, but I feel like everything happened for a reason, so far it wasn't for me. Is this a self-assessment, or were you actually told this? What? Did somebody say to you, you know, you could go far with football? Uh, yeah, a lot of people said I had potential. It was always potential, 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 but you can't really do nothing with potential. Any regret on giving up football? Uh, no. no. I mean, no. Nah. Because I know, you feel me, like, I always wanted to get paid to doing, doing some, something I love. Like, you feel me? So if I'm getting paid millions for rapping, I don't mind doing that shit because I'm getting paid for something I love. So I just feel like I just took a different route in life. Didn't have a love for football? Uh, no, I love football, but, you know, stuff happens in life and then, you know. Mm. Now, what led to football? initially for you? Because you could have played any sport. Oh, uh, yeah. Football, uh, I was playing it as a kid, you know. It was uh, a lot of people was telling me to get into it. I was in Chicago. So, and, you know, as a kid, you got to find stuff to do. You're going to drift off and shit like that. So I started playing football, you know, and I, I liked it. And then I just started playing it so many years and years. And then, you know, started falling in love with it. Is that a sport that runs in your family at all? Yeah, a lot of my family members play football too, so that's a good. That's another reason. How far did any of them get with it? Um, some of my people went to college. I think college to fathers. I probably got some family members in the league. I don't think I do. I don't think I do, but I know people went to college for that shit though. Now, when you did play varsity football, what position were you? Uh, I play slot wide right receiver. What was your jersey number? Oh, uh, yeah, 2 4. That's my name. Was that a number that you picked or were given? Uh, that was a number that I picked. And was there any significance or meaning behind that number there for you? Yeah, it was uh, one of my cousins. He used to be that number. So when I got to high school, I was that number. And then, like, I just, you know, I went farther with it. I turned it to a little something else. When it came to your cousin, is this a cousin on your mother's side or father's side? Oh, my mama's side. And did you actually go further than him when it came to football, or he went further than uh, you? No, he went further than me, but when I mean, like, I took the name further, I mean, like, he played football with it. Like, I I actually used two for, for like, other reasons just than that. Care to shed some light on that? Um, like what I mean with that, like, I feel like two folks is a little deeper for me. It's just not just a jersey number or like a nickname. Like, um, one of the most significant reasons why two folk like important to me because, uh, my best friend, she passed away, I think, February, yeah, February 24th, 2019. And then I was going to, like, have motherfuckers stop calling me too far because that's what I was going by because of my jersey number and, like, other little things like that. And after she passed away, I just kept it because of that day. So that's why it's, it's most significant. All the other stuff, that's really another whole other thing. And how did she pass away, if you don't mind me asking? She just got, it was out of nowhere. It was out of nowhere. It was from natural causes, though. It wasn't like murder or nothing like that. And when you say best friend at the time, were you guys platonic as far as your relationship or was it more than that? Uh no, it was just it was just my best friend. Like, you know, we was like real you know, we was real close, you know. So when they lost her it was like it was you know, it was real touching type shit. Do you remember how you guys first met? Um yeah, we had met in middle school. We were in middle school, and then so from middle school, we was just close, 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 and then high school, and then you know, I'm here right now. So. Now, 
when you guys met in middle school for the first time, was it just in the school, or did you guys actually have class together? Uh, yeah, initially? we had we had classes together, like you know, something we did outside stuff together. Um, yeah, I used to, I used to see her a lot, and then with middle school, like you feel me, it was smaller, so you seen more people because it wasn't that big. So I see her a lot. You know, we grew up by. But when you initially meet her for the very first time, was it a class classroom, um, or was it just on shit. on uh, on it the probably, school grounds? I, no, it probably was. It probably was a classroom, or probably in the lunchroom. One of those. Yeah, one of those. I can't even. I can't even think about it off the top. Now, when it came to you wearing the number twenty four. Did your cousin know this was homage to him? Uh, yeah, he knew. You know, he knew. Yeah. What was his reaction to that? Uh, it wasn't even no crazy reaction. He he slight used to uh clown me a little bit like on the, on the slight tip, but you know, that's past the point. Like you feel me now? You know, it's it's different. Like I'm like big too far. So I I like I will wait. Were you a starter? Uh, high school, something like that, man. I don't even, something like that, bro. I was like in rotation, you feel me, on and off. I don't even know. I don't even remember, bro. How far did your school get as far as competition-wise? In high school? Yeah. Football team, they was, it was, they was decent, you know? They was, um... It was decent, you know. We made it, yeah. We didn't make it far, as far. Shit, we almost did, but, you know, it was decent, though. They always had a nice record or some shit like that. Were you offered an athletic scholarship at all? Uh, no. No offers. Ever attend prom? No, dude. I did not attend prom, bro. That shit, it kind of hurt me, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Because we had COVID, so I couldn't even go to prom, bro. I was gonna put that shit on, man. No cap. But no, nah, we went, I ain't even get to go. I low key still wanna go. So if anybody need a prom date, let me know, bro. I'll definitely come. Uh, you would be willing to go to another school's prom? What? Yes, I can freak that whole like tee that whole up. Like I turn it to my prom because I ain't never had one. You feel me? So hey, I come. Now, before you end up graduating high school, did you win a superlative at all? Uh, nah, nah, I didn't. What year did you graduate technically? I graduated twenty twenty. Was last year. Young nigga, young turn, young nigga for sure. Do you remember your GPA back then, when you were in high school? <laughs> no, but like I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I don't remember it, but it wasn't like, it wasn't bad. I was an average student, like you feel me? Like I went on honor roll and shit like that, but my shit was decent. I went fell in no classes though. I went no dumb nigga. Now, you do end up attending college, and I'm a little hazy with details because I remember you saying you did a semester, but then I remember hearing you saying, I believe, you were there for like a year. Uh, you know, I feel like it was a semester, or it could have been two semesters, but no, no, actually, this is what it was, bro, this is what it was. I did a semester. It was easy, you feel me? It wasn't even hard. The work went hard or nothing like that. It was just, you feel me? Uh, I wasn't there with it, you feel what I'm saying? I was too busy trying to, you feel me, go do some other shit. So I wasn't too much caring about it no more. So it was kind of something that, you feel me, it grew apart from me, you feel me? Like, I just didn't want to do it. But I had did, I did one full semester, and I had like, I had like a, a high GPA. And then I ain't finished the second semester. That's when I dropped out. I just, I stopped going to classes. And then after that, I had called and told the guys. Yes. Now, why did you choose this school for 
year of college? Uh, ain't gonna lie. I don't even know. I feel like I don't even know. I don't even know. Bro. That's. And uh, what year did you attend campus? Uh, see, we were still in COVID, so I ain't never even go on campus. All the classes was online. But I think I started online classes, like, um, probably in 2020, probably the school year, 2020, yeah. Financially, how'd you afford it? Um, it was a junior college. So, like, with junior colleges, you know, um, my mom did all that payment and stuff like that. And all that. So anything that had to do with money, my mama know. But yeah, my mama made sure I was straight, so I ain't really have to worry about it. Did you receive any sort of scholarship at all? Any sort of grant at all? Uh, Aside from nah, your mother? No, nah, we ain't, ain't get no scholarship. My mama was stuck in it out. She, we ain't, I mean, we got help, but you know what I'm saying? It wasn't like the best help, but you know, it was it was enough. When it came to uh, living, uh, 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 everything was done on the internet. So I imagine you were still with your parents at the time? Yeah. Before you attended that school, did it have a reputation at all? Um... This junior college? Um, was it known for something? Did it have some sort of, uh, it, no. hey, if you go here, this... You know, all colleges be like, if you go here, we have the best science program, some shit like that, but it won't really, it won't really none that made me be like, oh, I gotta go there. You know, it was just the basics. It won't really none that brought me in, you know, convinced me. Um, everything was done through the computer um, and towards the end of your high school senior year, you were already doing stuff online through the computer as well. So this yeah. wasn't new to you. Yeah, this wasn't new at all, yeah. Curious though, what was the first day like? And for what? At college on the computer. Oh, uh, it was... It was, I don't know, it, it was regular because, you know, I was doing it in high school. So it was just, you know, just now I was in college. So it was, it wasn't as bad, you know. And you end up dropping out. You explain why. Before you attended, though, did you know what you wanted to major in? Did you uh, have was, any idea? Yeah, I was majoring in uh, business. You know, I wanted to do business, you know. Yeah, business. Now, when you actually end up dropping out, what was your parents' reaction? I had one reaction. So, parent, you know, my mom, you know. Um, my mom probably cared, but, you know, she probably showed it, showed that she didn't. But, you know, she was like... I don't know. I was getting older, so the older I get, you feel me, the more and less control people have over me. And like I say so, so I do what I want, so it doesn't really matter. Did you tell her or did she find out? Um, I feel like it was both. I feel like, um, you know, she, she probably, I think she knew. Like she asked me questions like, how's school going on? I'm not in school. It was like little lame shit like that. So so she knew, you feel me? So I don't really know. I feel like it was a both, both type of situation. And uh, looking back, did you make the right or wrong decision? I made the right decision, you know. Um, I'm doing what I, you feel me, what I want to do. And then, you know, I'll get greater later, so. Now, I am curious, though, yeah, speaking hypothetically here, do you wish you would have finished college? No. Do you wish you would have 
Uh, let me give you some options. Do you one? Do you wish you would have finished college? Two, do you wish you would have skipped college altogether and went straight to music? Or three, are you happy with some sort of college experience under your belt? Um, I wish I would have just went right to music. I ain't gonna lie, I really wish I would have, I ain't gonna lie, I really wish I would have, like, dropped out of high school slight, in a slight way, you feel me? Because, like, I didn't deal a lot with my music in, like, six months, so I don't know if I would have started earlier. Probably by the time I'm what, 19 right now, I'd be touching, touching some shit right now. Did you choose the wrong school, perhaps, as far as your college? Um, no. It was a, it was a good college, but it wasn't really the, the college didn't make me like you feel me stop with school. It was just me personal decision what I had going. Now, if this question sounds like something you answered already on this topic, then you can skip it or add on to it. And if you haven't, feel free to give an answer. But what did this entire experience teach you? What did you learn from all this when it came to your education? Oh, my education. I mean, it's important, you feel me, to be educated, especially with like, you know, with people with my skin color and stuff like that. We already got a disadvantage. So it's, uh, it's always, you know, a plus to do college and stuff like that and be more educated and things like that. But I mean, college not for everybody. It's a lot of people, you feel me? It's certain people, it's a low percentage of people who, you know, don't go through college and stuff like that, or, you know, even drop out of high school early, you know, and become a success story. So, I mean, everything I learned with school is just, you know, just keep your, keep your mind, you know, your body, all that right. That's really what it is. You just gotta stay on. Stay on top, basically, on your P's and Q's with a lot of things. If you could turn back the hands of time, would you have done anything different with your education? Um, I know you already mentioned, like I said, you may have answered this question already, but I'm still going to ask it. I know you mentioned in this conversation you slightly wish you may have dropped out towards the end of your high school. Yeah. Uh, but anything else, if you could turn back the hands of time, would you have done anything different with your education other than that, which you've already mentioned already? Uh, nah, nah, not really.